Senator Mark Warner Americans will grow tired of Russia probe if it's not done this year. Senator Mark Warner, the vice chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, said Wednesday he doesn't believe Democrats will ramp up investigations of Russian election meddling if they win control of Congress this fall. The notion for those who may be partisans in the crowd, who, say gosh, if Democrats take control, they'll be able to really ramp these up. I think the American public will be tired of it if this is not wound down in this calendar year, Warner, D. Van, said at Recode's Code Conference, a California gathering of senior tech executives. The Senate Intelligence Committee is the last serious congressional investigation of Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election and possible collusion between the Trump campaign and the Kremlin. Chairman Richard Burr, RN.C has talked about the possibility of ending the probe by early fall. However, some political observers have speculated that Democrats may try to revive the House Intelligence Committee's Russia probe if they win the majority in the November elections. The House investigation ended in March, with the GOP majority declaring that there was no evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. Democrats complained that Republicans were ignoring evidence in order to protect President Trump. The congressional investigations have been separate from the ongoing criminal investigation by special counsel Robert Mueller on behalf of the Department of Justice. Trump has repeatedly denounced the probe as a witch hunt. Warner said he is concerned about Trump's frequent attacks on the FBI, which go beyond his criticism of the Mueller investigation. Trump has recently attacked the FBI for planting a spy in his campaign referring to the action as spygate and blasting top FBI and Justice Department officials as crooked. What worries me beyond the fact that people have kind of got exhaustion from the day-to-day, -day, back and forth of this story, what worries me beyond the Russians themselves or the collusion issue, is, the president's willingness to kind of make broad-based dot 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 attacks against the whole integrity of the FBI the whole integrity of the Justice Department beyond just the Mueller investigation, Warner said. Rep. Thray Goody, R.S.C., defended the FBI Tuesday night, saying that the Bureau's use of an informant during the 2016 campaign was proper and was not targeted at Trump. Goody, a member of the House Intelligence Committee and chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee, was one of nine members of Congress allowed to see classified information about the FBI informant during briefings with the Justice Department last week. I am even more convinced that the FBI did exactly what my fellow citizens would want them to do when they got the information they got, and that it has nothing to do with Donald Trump, Gowdy said on Fox News. Warner said Trump is criticizing his own appointees in the FBI and Justice Department who are not willing to do inappropriate things like shut down the Mueller investigation. What I think he does with at least some of his allies, they're starting to undermine the rule of law, Warner said. Trump tweeted Wednesday that he wished he had not appointed Jeff Sessions to be attorney general. The president has repeatedly expressed anger at Sessions for recusing himself from the Russia investigation. Sessions recused himself because he served as an advisor to the Trump campaign. His recusal led to the appointment of Mueller by Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. 